Yeah, folks, this is a very quick video just to show a little bit more about cement render. This is our old enemy cement, and uh, the entire house is built out of sandstone underneath here and cement rendered. And what I've been doing on a corner of the building here, I've actually exposed some of the stonework, and you can see here a, uh, a section of stone, and you can see thick coats of cement render very hollow and a hell of a lot of cement in filling cracks look at this all of this is just covering over cement blocks and if you look there in the middle and we're always there that's the line you can see that joint is only about three millimeters thick but the problem is that as soon as you take the cement off everything underneath it is completely sopping wet and this is what cement render does that sandstone is wet and it's disintegrating it is frost spalled and you can see there it's just literally sand there's nothing left of it and it's wet to a touch so beautiful sandstone sopping wet you can feel it's wet it's cold and then where I've had this bit off down the bottom you can see down here it's actually drying out in the Sun I mean I've I've only had this off for 10 minutes and already the surface of the stone is is bone dry so all you've got to do to solve this sort of problem is dry it out and stop it from getting wet and spalling and uh, if I get the, the hammer down here you notice how hollow that all sounds it's it's a right mess so um, we have to take the render off this building it is slowly dying there's, uh, there's not a lot else that can be said for it and you imagine this entire building is beautiful sandstone blocks underneath and it's desperately in need of being sorted out and in fact I can probably show, show you a little bit because I think in this side lean-to Yep, here we go. There we have it. And I think it was actually part of an original, uh, much earlier timber frame building because down the bottom is what looks like a much wider, uh, different size stone plinth with this this, this uh, stone laid on edge. Unfortunately, it's been laid the wrong way. Uh, and here you can see the, the laminations are vertical and that's why the stone is spalling because the laminations are vertical water can get down into the top of the laminations and splits the face off um, which is not good the, the, this stone actually should have been laid that way with the laminations into the wall instead it's been laid that way which is not very good at all but hey ho, this is what the whole building looks like underneath and we've got to work out what we're going to do with it now you can see beautifully cut mason cut blocks um, some have survived others are quite badly damaged but I think quite a bit of this damage has occurred in taking render off because you can see here on this joint is cement rendered again and of course the damp companies uh, love this because as soon as they get a building coated with cement render they know they can sell you damp proofing because the whole building's sopping wet and instead of getting the render off they drill holes in it they put silly uh, bricks in it that are supposed to wick moisture out and so on and so forth all you need to do is remove the render and the building dries out and this one certainly has its problems inside as well but uh, there you go that's that's a bit about stone 
cement render wetting stone and the things that happen as a result you get frost in behind it and all the stone starts to split and spoil up so it's it's spoiled a very nice house obviously part of a much bigger estate um, all of this land in here was all part of the estate now broken up and this was the big farmhouse and we know that uh, uh, inside the farmhouse there are great big bread ovens and things these, these chimney stacks you see in the house are, uh, are original and underneath that, that particular stack in the middle there is a massive Inglenook fireplace with bread ovens and all sorts of things um, so you imagine that when it's all stripped back uh, to the uh, to the stonework it's going to look beautiful we might have a bit of a an issue with the windows but we'll sort that out when we get there so there you go